and still fighting what's your face. He still has ammo. Fires at fire. Fire. Uh this is a pistol now. Fire. I don't know if I can beat her with no pistol. Invoke your inner ocelot. Invoke is there your... ammo out there? There is, but I'm like afraid to do it. Go now. Oh uh, come on, get out of cover. No, Wait, what was the remote that you got? The what? It said something about a remote you got. No, I got ammo. Oh, I thought it said remote. I don't think so. I don't see anything. Like, what's that one thing right next to the ammo? I don't know, but she's almost dead, and that's all I care about. And you're almost dead, too. Yeah! Woohoo! What, nothing to say? <clears throat> oh, she's mute, if I remember correctly. Are you telling your friends you're doing here, or do I have to beat it at? Beat it out of her. Beat it. Beat it out of her. I don't think she can talk. You reach for a weapon, you're dead. Yeah, yeah, I don't think she can talk. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give me some love, sweet love. Ooh. Is that like a cursed uh, amulet or something? Oh, yeah. It's because spies just hand each other cursed amulets. Yeah. yeah. You're fucked on your next mission. Aww. He I just cares. handed Matt uh, an amulet. Just want you to know, your next mission, you're fucked. <laughs> I'm gonna get fucked? No, no. Aww. You're, well, yes, but not like in that way. Aww. Like you're gonna get fucked up. Aww, okay. That's what I meant. That's what I meant by it. So I'm gonna have a good fight, huh? You're gonna have a fight on my hands. You're gonna have an epic fight, but you're gonna lose. Am I gonna have a fight with that jackass on the road that flipped me off after I let him in the lane? Yeah, you are gonna oh, have God, that fight. Oh, God, thank God I wanna... But he's gonna beat your ass, remember? Because you're fucked. I gave you the oh, Chris Daniel. Right, but at least I'm gonna make him work for it. I'm gonna kick him in the nuts. I'm gonna do it. Like, that's what that jerk deserves. Oh yeah, it's this G22 Russian bastard. And I take it you're the leader. I ran into him. I take it you're the leader. You fucking villain from Die Hard. <laughs> I can't remember his name right now. That would be my bodyguard, sis. Wow, great Russian accent there. He's not Russian. Oh, he's not? Oh. G22, I think, is like a German group. Oh. It's a German anti-terrorist group. Or uh -huh. maybe it's G12. I don't remember. So should I ask what G22 is doing in Moscow? You guys sure seem to be classified. It's a rather long answer, Mike. Long? You know, I want to be nice. I don't know if I should be nice to him or make him hate me. You know, I think I'm going to make him like me. I'm going to be nice to him. Even though I already got a negative point. You're going to be one of the rare few in, er, individual males that you're actually a nice to. I think I was usually mean to him, but I wonder if I'm nice to him, if uh, he'll uh, join up with me or not. You might need his services later. I might. Actually, I play this game, I actually might. <laughs> Alright. But I better not be one. Gotta stretch first. Gotta do a little stretching before I come. I like this. Sweater he's rocking. I'm wearing a sweater just like that right now. You'll have to do it soon. I'm wearing a shirt kind of like By the that. way, don't forget, we're still taking votes on if we should bring Fidel back. Bring back Fidel. Bring back Fidel. Also, bring we went to, so Fidel. we went to the Midwest Gaming Classic, which is like a convention show for like retro games. And we got to see the Nintendo PlayStation prototype. Like, the only one. I'm going to put it up on the video. Check it out. Oh, Wow. Cool! Whoa, no way! So yeah, really cool stuff. You should check it out. And I got to see some really cool VR stuff. Oh, uh, I got I didn't get to see any of the VR stuff. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. There was a there was one guy who or like they showed one guy like all suited up in the in the gear and he was uh like walking around in this uh, look like a medieval type yeah, world. I find it weird that you would try it out when you're afraid of that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, I, I didn't try it out. I just looked. Whoa. Okay, never mind. You didn't. You didn't. Uh, I want like. It out. I I I kind of wanted to try it, but at the same time, it just kind of creeped me out. Now, do you mind explaining to our wonderful audience why you're afraid of VR stuff? Well, it all it all begins pretty much as a lot of fears. Beginning anime. with too much anime. Yeah. <laughs> Watch too much Japanese anime. Dot hack sign in particular. 
I, I fear that one day that virtual reality will become so real and that, like, you, you could be, like, in a game and, like, something could happen where you're, like, short-circuited and then you're, like, your mental, your mental psyche gets trapped in the game and your body just, like, pretty much becomes limp and then you're trapped wandering the world forever in that game until you find a way to escape and that would just scare the living crap out of me being stuck in a virtual world where someone would have complete and utter control over my actions over a long period of time. Where there would be, like, literally a god that would just be, like, a user like you that knows a lot about computers and you could manipulate things to really screw with me. And that would scare the absolute crap out of me. Really would. And that's why I'm afraid of virtual reality. And robots. The scene reminds me of a scene from James Bond Goldeneye. When, uh, Pierce Brosnan meets with, uh, oh. 00, uh, 006. You don't need the gun. Yeah, and they're like in that Russian like yeah. <laughs> cemetery or whatever. No trouble finding the place anyway. Oh, I thought you were gonna talk or say the one where they were in that like that hotel room and they're like Bond was like swimming and then. No. No. Not that no. One. no, the one where they meet in a Russian cemetery. Yeah, I don't remember that. I didn't want to fight. Wait. Leave much time for talk. Was that after the uh, the pool scene? Yeah, it's when he goes to meet Yanis. Oh, okay. and they're in that car, and then yeah. oh, okay. No, then they wake up in the helicopter. Him and Natalia. They're in the helicopter, and it shoots missiles out, and then they he like headbutts the ejection thing, and he shoots out, and then he gets arrested by the Russian. And uh, then Ormov shows up, and he shoots the commissioner, or whatever. And then there's the tank chase scene. I disagree. I know too much about James Bond, so. <laughs> I'm a huge James Bond fan. No, no. Then you should be proud of your accomplishment. Uh, I'd probably have to see it again. I, it's not often. I feel like I kind of know what you're talking about, but I just don't remember. It's been a long, long time. Oh, yeah. I've still seen it. Goldeneye. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to watch it. We'll watch it. Between Halbeck and you, I'm beginning to feel like everyone knows about Alpha Protocol. I think the last one that I saw. Yeah, was... you know, I don't get. Everyone knows about Alpha Protocol, so how is it a really good spy agency? <laughs> good point. It's kind of like how how is I how was ISIS a, considered a good agency, but everyone knew about it. Yeah, I don't get that. We have. By the way, we're talking about ISIS and Archer, not ISIS the terrorist group. The group. By careful study and observation. If the status quo is disrupted. It's nighttime and I'm wearing my heaters. <laughs> well, no. Well, those uh, headlights are pretty bright, you know. Yeah, those lights. Yeah, you gotta those, protect yourself. Those lamp lights, they're yeah. pretty blinding. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need my shades. Those like moths taking like. Like, we're trying to have a conversation, and there's just, like, moss ting, like, ting, 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 ting. Excuse me. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to have a spy conversation. Oh, sorry, ting, man. Ting, 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 ting. I propose we become allies. What? I become Will you listen to me, moths? Ting, ting. Like, moth man is there. Like, yeah. just a giant moth guy. Ting, 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 ting. You know, that moth man kind of scares me. G22 has access. Really? You have, like, have you ever seen the, pro- the Mothman Prophecies? No. The movie's really freaky, dude. We should watch it. It's really scary. You know what else freaks me I thought out? You, I thought you were talking about, like, from Spongebob. They had, no. like, the Mothman. I was like, I mean, that would be kind of creepy to look at, but... I'm talking about, like, Mothman, like, the oh. Conspiracy Theory Mothman. You know what I'm talking about? I don't. Uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to look it up. I'll show you. He's pretty creepy. Ingrid Cole kind of scares me, too. Dude, Ingrid who? I think it's, like, Ingrid Cold. It's, uh, it all started, like, this guy was just driving his car, like, the sheriff, he's driving home or something like that, and he saw this bright light fly over him, and then stop above the road, and so he, he stopped his car, and this man approached him, he's wearing, like, a black suit, like, a men in black kind of suit, uh-huh. and he's like, nice to meet you, Mr. He, like, he knew his name, and he's like, I'm injured Cole, and we'll be meeting again sometime in the future, and then he disappeared, and when the guy snapped out of it, he was just sitting in his car, and, like, only a couple minutes had passed, or, like, an hour or so had passed, but it felt like a couple minutes. Wow. But, like, those guys, like, popped up and visited people before. He's, like, this alien that visits people, and his name's Injured Cole. Hmm. Like, there's a bunch of people who apparently have met Injured Cole. And he just goes up to them and says that he... That like, he tells be- them, like, weird secrets for, like, when disasters and things are gonna happen. Huh. Yeah, it's weird. I kinda wonder if that happened to me, then. Have you had that happen to you? Well, I've never met anyone like that, but I had a... But I think I told you about the dream that well, I had. Well, hold on. You can tell me 
next time on Stay and Play. Adios, mi amigos. Adios. Boo.